maybe five or six months after I got her, after she'd been like a completely normal, happy bunny, she started losing her balance a lot and she would try to do normal things and she would fall and start rolling like she couldn't get up. And it really scared her, it really scared me, and she would spend a lot of time hiding under the couch because she was afraid to move. And we never got a firm diagnosis, likely a parasite that affected her her brain because they said there wasn't a cure for it. We didn't really like pursue it any further. What they suspected was raccoon roundworm, which normally in the wild will kill a bunny. I don't know, they, they told me, prepare yourself for a special needs bunny. Like, she's probably just gonna be this way her whole life. We kept her in the kitchen. We managed to keep her in there and just like patted it down so that anytime she fell, she wouldn't hurt herself. You know, she stayed there for a couple months. And then when I realized, I was like, okay, she didn't pass away. I think like she's getting through this. So then I started, you know, I would take her to school with me and put her under my desk and she would stay there. And I started letting her out and letting her onto the sofa and things like that. And she just, she rebounded really quickly. She's not completely like cured. She still falls. She has really bad balance, but like her energy and her confidence came back. And I think that was such a nice thing to see. I don't wish that she had gotten sick, but because she did, it, I think, created a, a stronger bond. She's comfortable with me, and she looks at me as her person. Her original personality, I think, was always very confident, and she lost that when she first got sick. But once she started, like, normalizing everything, her full personality is, like, completely back. I always try to promote rescuing instead of buying. I mean, peanuts are rescue and all my animals have been rescued. So that's just, I guess, something I always try to promote.